The war definition of being the best pilot is, surprisingly, not dictated by how many planes you shoot down, but rather how long you live and how spectacularly you die. Judging by these two requirements, Albert was indeed one of the best men we've ever had. We knew Lothar von Richthofen was in fact as dangerous as his brother, more unpredictable, faster, swifter, his bullets as deadly as others. However, at the same time, these were all his weaknesses as well. In this sense, he and Albert Ball were quite similar, brilliant as long as they stayed focused, like black cats with their nine lives. Ball just happened to run out of them faster. That, or so we believe, was the only reason for his death. Shooting well is not all. Both Germans and we do it. After all, you also need some damn luck. Rise and shine, I'd rather say smile and fall.
Isn't it almost ironic how the thing you wanted so badly to happen occurs when you avert your sight? Flying like we were used to, with weather conditions finally improving, we felt that April 21st might be our day. Suddenly, we saw and heard the combat. We flew closer. The whole sky seemed like a rainbow, blinking with flashing blues, greens and yellows of the German planes. However, there was one color this constellation was lacking. Red. There it was, flying away from the battle, but not alone. There was one of the English planes of another squadron he was hunting, and another one he was being chased by. The impatience, frustration, the suffocating feeling some other pilot may try to steal from you, something you were almost by the war law assigned to, that's what I felt in that moment. Not the fame or glory, but much more the sense of all our struggle and loss we've experienced so far. All for this small red plane, now hunted down by two unknown figures. When I saw the attempts of von Richthofen to land, not knowing if he was shot or killed, it didn't feel like we were fighting a war anymore. It became a personal challenge, a fairy tale in which we were the knights and dragons at the very same time. The victory of the Allies it may have been, finally killing Manfred von Richthofen, but the pain of something being taken from us hurt just as bad as the injuries the Germans made us suffer. After all, we were the anti-Richthofen squadron. But who are we now?